What's going on guys, it's your boy Tuba back again for another player review. This time around we are reviewing the ATA rated centre mid Manchester United Paul Pogba card. And as of the time of this review, as for those people that are actually interested, it will cost you around 430,000 coins on the PS4, 390 on the Xbox and 600,000 coins on the PC. Now, he does have four five-star skills and a four-star weak foot. And in all honesty, he was probably one of the most used overpowered players FIFA 19. So how does he stack up this FIFA? Now, getting straight into it, I'm going to I'm I'm gonna say, guys, I wanted to break this review up into different sections, and and one of the most important things is where you play the card. And what I mean by that is, obviously, you can play him as a centre mid, um, as an attacking midfielder, and or as a DM. Now, either three, obviously, you can play him as striker. But you know, what kind of nutter, what kind of psycho is playing this guy as striker? I don't know, but you could if you wanted to. But we're not gonna talk about that. But yeah, guys, those three positions, you can play him. And he he would do well, if I'm completely honest. He's got the passing to play as an attacking midfielder. Um, and he's got the long shot. As well as that, as a centre mid, he's got that um, bringing the ball forward capabilities. As a DM, obviously, big, tall, strong, he can win the ball back. Now, for me, guys, I personally prefer him as a centre mid alongside a DM that is very defensive, such as like a Kante. Um, as you can tell, on my team, I did have a Kante next to him. A Kante, like you buy one at a shop or something. No. Um... I had Kante next to him. And I think that combination works very well just because he can work as more as a, of a player that brings the ball forward and you, you can use him as that driving force into your team. And you can obviously have that Kante player, style player to stay back, defend, ball um, on those counter-attacks. He's there. Um, you don't really need to worry too much about Pogba in that aspect. Now, for me, guys, I really, really enjoyed this card. Um... Just like in FIFA 19, what he uh, does very well is wins back the ball because he has very long legs. And I don't know if that makes sense to anyone. Some people are going to be like, what's this going on about long legs, mate? We don't want to know about your fetishes. But yeah, no, guys, he has very long legs, which means when it comes to intercepting the ball, when it comes to tackling, even if you're not in the exact place where you need to be to actually intercept or tackle because he's got those long legs he stretches out a little bit further and he can win back balls in no time now on top of that guys as you know the guy is very 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 strong which means aggressively and physicality wise he's pushing most players off the ball um when you're dribbling he keeps the ball near to him and even if you're like in a position where you're going to lose it or you should lose it and i know this might be a little bit annoying to come against but he keeps the ball, very, very simply. Like, he keeps the ball, even though he shouldn't at times. It's just kind of unfair. for you. He's way too strong, and it, it does, and it will become a bit of a nuisance for your opposition when he does have the ball, because it is so hard to get it off him. Now, on top of that, with the fact that he's got five-star skills, I'm not the best skiller, I'm not going to lie. So I'm going to leave that for you guys to, to judge. If you're a skiller, obviously that's great. If you're not... I mean, it's just a bonus on top. Now, four-star weak foot, in my opinion, is very important for a centre mid just because, um, especially for a player that brings the ball forward and a player that you use for that specific role, having four-star weak foot is very important for passing. And you don't need to really figure out or um, kind of move around a player that's got like a lower weak foot just because, you know, you don't want it on his weak foot when passing just because it might go like wayward or somewhere. He's got a four-star weak foot. Very, very reliable when it comes to passing and shooting. Now, that brings me to back to my next point. Shooting-wise, in all honesty, I don't think he's as good as FIFA 19. I don't know what it was about that FIFA 19 card, but that long shot was like beastly. Um, shooting in general was quite good with, on the card, but this FIFA 20 card, in my opinion, doesn't have or live up to that standard of shot power. And, like, you can take long shots with him. You can, obviously, score them. I'm not saying you can't, but it's just not as frequently as it was in FIFA 19. Now, for me, guys, that doesn't make too much of a difference, but it's just nice to know to a certain degree that when he's outside that box and you do pass it to him to whack it and it might go to the back of the net, it's nice, you know, for a 400-plus K player, it is nice to have that on top of it. Now... Con to conclude this, guys, he's a very expensive player. I can't deny it. One similar card that you could potentially buy is Baby Icon Petit. I'm sorry, not Petit, Balak. However, 
He's not as tall. Pogba is very tall in the air. Wings, wings, wins, wings. I don't know what I'm trying to say. He wins the ball very easily in the air from headers, from corners, or maybe you're just blasting it out from the keeper. If you target him nine times out, no, not even nine times out of ten, 99 times out of 100, the guy's beating anyone to the header. Very over, overpowered in that sense. Like it because of that. Um, would I pay and would I justify this money? What I will say is if you're, if you've got, let's say, a million coins and 430k or something like 400k is going towards Pogba alone. I wouldn't necessarily necessarily say do that just because what I would recommend is building an all-round team. But if you've got like 2 million, um, 3 million coins, Pogba is just going to be a great addition to anyone's team. For that reason, I'm going to say, say that this card is more of a like uh, end-game player card slash not in-game in particular, but it's more of a, you got money, he's definitely improving any team kind of card. And for that reason, guys, I'm going to give this card a solid 9.5 out of 10, guys. A very high-rated card. I generally love the card so far. Um, as long as you have him alongside a defensive midfielder, um, your midfield is going to be unstoppable, right, guys. But that's going to be it for the review. If you haven't already, like the video, subscribe, tube it out. Catch you guys later. Peace.